What's up guys? Miles back with another video. Today's video we're gonna talk about action is better than knowledge, right? Now I know what you guys are thinking. You're like, Miles, knowledge is power. Knowledge is how you you know, if you got knowledge, you just unstoppable. And that's not how it works, right? So go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, share the video if you like the video. Um, because this is gonna be a good one, I think. I got some talking points right here. So what inspired this video? I was watching Top Gun, right? I made another video about Top Gun. If you can check that out. I was watching Top Gun, and the main theme, or the main quote that kept being repeated in that movie, Maverick, is, don't think, just do. Now, if you're a logical person, right? You're like, don't think, just do. Like, that doesn't make sense. You're supposed to think before you say something. You're supposed to think before you do something. You're supposed to think and analyze the situation and, you know, break it down before you get involved with it because you don't know what the outcome is going to be, right? That's how you're supposed to do stuff. But that's not how things often go, right? So what happens is, right, and that these people that, you know, these people that you follow that say, you know, knowledge is power and all that stuff. And it is power. Knowledge is power. But the reason why people say don't think, just do is because people get analysis paralysis. You overanalyze, you overthink it. Right? In the in the balanced sense, you're supposed to have action and knowledge. That's your true power, right? But oftentimes people focus on the knowledge so much that they don't do any action. And that people that have action um, don't have the knowledge, so they mess up and have, make, a, make a whole bunch of mistakes, right? The thing with making actions, though, is that you learn from your mistakes a lot faster because you're actually doing and participating in what you want to do. So you actually get better at it a lot faster, and you actually make improvements a lot faster because you're actually physically doing it. You're learning on the job. And you're making mistakes, but you're also you're making a lot of progress as well. Failure is the best teacher. So the person that knows knowledge, they just read a whole bunch of books, but they haven't actually did what that profession is, right? And in the real world, experience is over a degree. Remember that. So, like I said, People often get the knowledge. The reason why people, um, like the, the saying is, don't think, just do, is because people get the knowledge and they get analysis paralysis. They never apply it. They never actually go out and do what they're supposed to do. They just have a whole bunch of knowledge in their head. They can tell you about it all day, but they haven't put the foot to the pavement. When you just do stuff, when you do something, you start move. You start figuring out what um, direction you should move, right? So if you started doing something in business right now, like you, yeah, you probably will make a whole bunch of mistakes, but you'll soon realize, okay, I, I don't want to do cl do a clothing business. Maybe I want to do a app. I want to do an app. Maybe I'm just an investor. Maybe because maybe I don't want to be a CEO. You know what I'm saying? Everybody finds out their roles by doing something. Maybe you don't want to be the artist. Maybe you want to be the producer. Maybe you want to be the beat maker. Right? But you would never know that if you just had the knowledge and never applied it and actually went out and do did something within that field. Right? So it gives you a direction. You start figuring stuff out. You're like, okay, I don't really want to do this. I want to do that. Or maybe I do want to do this. I just need to do it a certain way and I need to get, get better at it like doing it by this way, right? And lastly, it's weird, guys. Like, you enter some kind of instinctual, intuitive, creative-like flow within that moment, right? It's so weird, right? Whenever you practice something so much or whenever you've done something so much that it's just become second nature to you, that's what I'm talking about. When you run a route, whenever you're playing football, whenever you're playing basketball, everything is just a reaction. You're not even thinking about dribbling. You're not even thinking about taking a shot. 
You're not even thinking about juking somebody. You're not even thinking about, you know, making the catch. You just do it because it's a part of you. It's just a reaction. Everything is just a reaction at some point. You've gotten so good at it that you don't even need to think about it. It's involuntary. It's a part of your subconscious, right? And that's the power of doing stuff. You know, when you don't think and you just move, that creative state activates, right? I remember I was doing something for my CDL. I was doing the vacuum part. I just, I wasn't getting it. I was overthinking it. I just said, fuck it, I'm just going to do it, right? And... I just figured it out somehow. It's so weird how that works, right? And I'm gonna break this down whenever I get to this other video because um, it's so crazy that everything in society teaches you to go against that instinct, teaches you to go against that creativity, right? So. Oftentimes, you think and overanalyze things because that's what you're taught to do, right? But the most successful athletes, the people that you see on TV, they follow their instincts, right? And then, you know, people on TV are like, you know, that person is just so intuitive. He just knows such and such and such and such. And then, like, your coach is telling you how to think and how to st stupid stuff. And if you don't do this, you won't start. Like, all that stupid shit. So follow your own instincts. And that's what that action does for you. It's a powerful thing. So, in conclusion, guys, you should be knowledgeable. You should take action at the same time. You should read up on what you're supposed to do before you take action. But if all else fails and you have to make a decision, it's better to go and take the action route than just take the knowledge route right you're going to learn and know what's realistic compared to that book and that book might tell you something that sounds good on paper but it's not realistic when it comes to applying it right that's what every job everything that you ever got or every music thing or sports thing you can read about it all day but some of that shit is not realistic in the real world right so that's my video like comment subscribe share the video if you like the video we out. You guys have a good day, good week. See y'all.